I'm Christina and we're with thepatricios.com and I'm with Carter and Kennedy and Carter, you're going to ask the first question, right? Hi yeah. guys. This question is for Harry. Yes. The question is, I can, I hear you have an interesting way to eat a Tim Tam. Can you share? <laughs> Absolutely. It's called the Tim Tam Suck and it's very important. If you master it, you can become an honorary Australian. You get the Tim Tam biscuit or cookie and what you do is you bite the top off and you bite the bottom off and then you get a glass of warm milk you put the tim tam in and then you suck up the milk through the tim tam and it melts the chocolate and it all crumbles and becomes all chocolatey and milky in your mouth it's delicious <laughs> thank you <laughs> okay do you want to ask this question can yeah. i um yeah number one like yeah to... you can ask it to clara um, yeah. claire this is for you. What made you choose which animals to use in the movie? Well, there were so many animals to choose because Australia is known for all the deadliest animals, but also the most beautiful animals as well. So we really had a lot. It was a big casting call to get them. You know, we we uh, we knew that we wanted our lead to be a snake and we knew that Pretty Boy was going to be a koala because the whole thing was about perceptions and the idea of how you know what you think something on the outside looks like like maddie you think is going to be scary but maybe she's not and the same with the koala you think he's going to be the most nicest animal in the world so it has a lot to do with perceptions and then as you go through the movie there's tons of animals but we did lose a couple along the way that we decided but there were just so many to choose from but we were happy with the amount that we have now Thank you. Okay, I have a question. So Chaz, obviously he reminds us of Steve Irwin. So my, my question is, was that intentional? And do, did either of you know Steve Irwin? I uh, didn't know him, huge fan. He was such a wonderful man. It was a terrible loss, uh, how he, tragic, how he passed away. But um, we're big fans. And uh, in the movie, it's not based on Steve Irwin because Chaz is certainly not like him. He's not a hero like Steve was. But I think Chaz would like to see himself be like Steve Irwin, but he has to learn to be kind and understanding towards animals before he can truly be as magnificent as Steve Irwin was. Okay. Also, um, do you have a favorite scene in the movie? Oops, sorry, what is the question again? Do you have a favorite scene in the movie? Oh yeah, my favorite scene is the scene where they're all at the campfire when they've got out to the outback and they are just like uh, getting to know each other. And it's one of my favorite moments in the, in the movie because you get to see the vastness and the beauty of the outback at night and those beautiful stars. Um, do you, um, Harry. Harry, do you have a favorite scene? Absolutely. I love the big chase at the end. It reminds me of a lot of cool Australian films when they're in the Jeep, especially when the animals uh, take control of the motorcycle and they're being chased by the bikers and uh, Chaz. I think that's a really cool, fun scene. Okay. I have a question. Was there any challenges while filming during the pandemic? Yes, there was lots. Hey, you know, we were all stuck at home. Um, our, I think our first recording was with Jackie, Jackie Weaver, who's Jackie the Crocodile. And that was in a studio. And that very night, we all had to leave our offices and go home. And it was a little bit worrying because you didn't really know what was going to happen next uh, for everyone. Mm -hmm. but, um, uh, but it turned out everyone, you know, Netflix was really wonderful at sending out kits to the actors so that they could record generally in their closets because you have clothes all around you. And so it'll baffle the sound. Mm -hmm. And all our teams of animators, they were at home as well and so it was lovely to work with everyone and we were very fortunate that an animation can be made from home we learned that it was all done pretty much from home that's so amazing um did any of the actors get to like improvise with their lines or their script at all Yes, a lot. Isla Fisher, who plays uh, Maddie and brought so much heart and warmth and humor to it. She's great. She's such a fantastic comedian on top of being a wonderful actress. And so she brought a lot of her own lines to the film. 
and uh, just had a lot of fun with it. We'd start recording and we'd just let her go. We'd say, right, you've done the lines on the script, do what you want. And then she'd just go off and she'd improvise. And a lot of those lines stayed in the movie because she's so funny. Same with Tim. Tim was really great at yes. coming up with, with, with funny, funny remarks that Pretty Boy would make. Mm. Well, they're telling me to wrap up. So we just want to say thank you so much and happy holidays. Thank you so much. Thank you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.